Pop Culture, your one-stop destination for everything pop culture. My name is Aston, and today we're going to do a live reaction and a quick review for Underworld Blood Wars trailer. Alright, let's jump right into it. The Vampire and Lycan clans have been at war for centuries, turning our world into a battlefield. Are you with me? For me, the fight is personal. Everyone I've ever loved has been hunted down. Now a new war is being waged. This day was bound to come. The Lycans are moving again. They have a new leader, Marius. We must not rest until we have destroyed their final sanctuary. You'll need Selene. She cannot be trusted. Tell your Marius, I'm not finished with this war. Selene's blood is the key. We will be invincible. As the lichens grow stronger, I fear more blood will be spilled than ever before. We fight for our coven! Impossible. All right, there we have it. <laughs> the trailer for <clears throat> Underworld Blood Wars. So I really like this trailer. Like I'm a real big fan of Underworld, of course. Um, I've been watching it since the very first one. And I like how this trailer started off with all of the, all the footage from the first trailers. Not from the first trailer, but from the first couple movies. But I didn't understand is how they had that real quick, um, basically like a, a commercial for the trailer, like a, a pre-trailer before the trailer actually started. I really didn't understand that. Don't know why they actually had that on there. I feel like it would have been a lot more cohesive and it just cut out the um, the Lion Gates symbol. I think it was Lion Gates. And put it at the uh, at the beginning instead of having a little couple seconds cut to um, the studio logo, go back to the commercial, come to a date. I didn't mind like the last one, but it did it twice in one trailer. So I felt like they should have just did it without that but besides that i really like this trailer like i got like i said i'm i'm real big on underworld so i'm definitely going to be there the first weekend to see this i'm most likely going to do a movie review for it i enjoy underworld movies um i like all the action i like how we have to see like a new type of um vampire we haven't seen her or well, seen them in the original the other ones we get to see like the um the blonde here um, pale skin type vampires. So I'm assuming that um, Bloodline probably can't go out in the sun like um, like everybody else can. But they see like a little, I don't know if um, if she was kind of like starting to get their um, get their skills away. Could we see her with her hair like kind of blonde, that bleached blonde look, but it was still black on top. So I don't know if she's going to um, be like kind of like converting to them or something. I really don't know. But Besides that, I like when she was just fighting, like the, especially that last clip when she was fighting, he pulls her in, then she does like the little, um, the vampire run, the, the quick run without um, being caught. You see he has her jacket, but he doesn't really actually have her. What else do we see? And I like how they switch the terms on it. So the rest of the movies, we always seen that the werewolves are on their last leg and the werewolves are being hunted. This year, we see that this time it's going to be the vampires that are getting hunted and not the werewolves. So the lichens are actually on top. They're actually hunting down the very last like pack of um, vampires. So I actually like that. I enjoy that nature of it. Uh, like I said, I'm a big fan. There's not really too much more to really say about this because it wasn't really anything too, thing, like, too crazy. The special effects look good. Um, 
I know a lot of people are going to say, like, these movie does not really make a lot of money. Each movie is made less and less and less, which is actually true and is reasonable. But I know a lot of people don't even like these movies, but me personally, I like them. It's, I, I'm big on, like, the vampires and liking type of stories. So anytime you hear like, have vampires and likings going against each other, I'm always going to be there. So that's really it for this trailer. But thank you guys for tuning in. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if, um, if you guys seen something in the trailer that I missed. Oh, one thing I didn't remember, it seemed like they're actually after her, this trailer, like this movie. They're going to see her blood. And I'm confused. Is um is Michael and like her daughter going to be in this movie? Because we see a little clip of them, but I don't remember if they died in the last one or not. But we'll find out when it comes. Like, it was a good trailer. I enjoyed it. And it did what it needed to do so that people know the movie was coming out. But... Besides that, like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And always follow us on Instagram at lost underscore culture. Follow me on Instagram at saint underscore Aston. And always stay lost.